and polls could be decided on the basis of no more than a few hundred votes. That's why. That's why we took a decision democratically not to split the yes vote, not to split the anti-austerity vote, not to split the anti-trident vote. And I would appeal, I would appeal even at this late time, I respect the Green Party, I respect the Trade Union Socialist Coalition, I respect the right of others to stand in this election. I respect your right to do it, but I hope you respect my right to say to you, you're wrong. You're wrong at a time like this when only a few hundred votes can decide a seat. If you're a Green Party member, if you're a socialist, and your party manages to secure two or three hundred votes, you might say, well done. We've got two or three hundred votes. We've recruited some members. Well done. But how are you going to feel if the red Tory, the blue Tory, or the yellow Tory holds on to their seats by two hundred votes? How are you going to feel? And that's why. That's why the appeal has to go tonight. And every day over the next three weeks, they appeal to the others. Please consider lowering your banner for the sake of the whole of Scotland here. Let's, let's, use, let's use the most powerful weapon of all. As I sat in the BBC studios on the, night, on the night of the referendum I made the point that I was standing in the heart of the establishment beast the establishment beast that did everything everything to distort the message to send out an absolutely distorted news that frightened people that conned people that told the pensioners they were going to lose their pension. That told workers they were going to lose their jobs. That told the whole of Scotland, vote yes, the supermarkets will close. Vote yes, the banks will leave. As I made the point to Andrew Neil, an independent Scotland didn't mean the closure of the bank. 